guys, welcome to today's session. Today we'll be having a brief look at introduction to pharmacology. And note that this video is strictly according to the curriculum of medical laboratory science. So pharmacology was coined from two Greek words, pharmaco, which is drug, and logos, which is to study or to have a knowledge of something. Basically, pharmacology is the science of drugs. And we can say that it's the study of the properties of chemicals and living organisms and all aspects of their interaction. It also has to do with the effect of chemical substances on living organisms. And pharmacology has been carefully divided into two major parts. Take note of the major because there are other parts but we'll be looking at the major parts. And these major parts are pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. Let's see pharmacodynamics. Pharmacodynamics deals with the actions of drugs on the body, their mechanisms of actions, how they bind to receptors, and the resulting physiological or biochemical effect of these drugs. So, pharmacodynamics is basically about understanding how drugs interact with the human systems. So, in pharmacokinetics, we see how drugs are absorbed, metabolized, and eliminated by the body. It also deals with the factors affecting the concentrations of drugs in various tissues and how it relates to um, dosages and administration of drugs. So the other parts of pharmacology are we have um, clinical pharmacology, we have toxicology, we also have pharmacogenetics, pharmacogenomics, we also have psychopharmacology and there are others too so but these are just the ones we are looking at so guys here is something quick to help you while preparing for exams especially mcq questions that are related to the major aspects of pharmacology note that pharmacodynamics studies the effect of the drugs on the body but pharmacokinetics studies the effect of the body on drugs notice the switch dynamics has to do with drugs on the body while kinetics deals with the body on drugs when we hear about drugs our minds just shift to those illegal substances like heroin cocaine and the rest but in this course it has a wider meaning Drug is a chemical agent that can be used to elevate, prevent, or cure diseases. And they are beneficial for treating and maintaining health. So a specialist in this field is called a pharmacologist. And these drugs don't just fall from the sky, they have various sources, which include minerals, um, calcium carbonate is an example of a drug that is gotten from minerals and is used as an antacid to release chest bone. Other drugs gotten from minerals include liquid paraffin and lithium carbonate. We also have animal sources like insulin that is used to treat diabetes was gotten from the pancreas of pigs and cows. Other drugs gotten from animals include heparin and antitoxin sera. Drugs are also gotten from plants. For example, aspirin is also is gotten from willow bark. We also have morphine and quinine, and these drugs are gotten from different plants. Um, also, we have microorganisms. Microorganisms are vital sources of drugs. Antibiotics are generally gotten from these microorganisms. Example is penicillin. Penicillin is gotten from penicillin fungus and other sources of drugs may include synthetic biotechnology semi-synthetic and the rest of them the process of naming these drugs for easy identification is known as drug nomenclature or classification and all drugs have at least three names and they are number one is the chemical or scientific name the second is the generic or non-proprietary name the third one is brands or proprietary name. So we'll look at each of these classification. 
The chemical or scientific name describes the drug's molecular structure in terms of atoms and molecules accompanied by its chemical structure. While the generic or non-proprietary name is, is the approved medical name given to it by the producer in collaboration with the Food and Drugs Nomenclature Committee. last one is the brand or proprietary name. The brand or proprietary names are given to drugs by the manufacturing or marketing companies and there are copyright laws put in place to prevent manufacturers from using an already existing name and it's very possible for a particular drug to have numerous brand names like a particular drug could have up to three to four brand names because it's given by different manufacturing and sell and marketing companies so i'll be using a common drug to illustrate what we just discussed let's use aspirin the chemical or scientific name for aspirin is acetylsalicylic acid The generic name is aspirin. That's one everybody knows. While the brand names are just a few of the brand names, we have Ecotrin, Anacin, Buferin. There are lots of them. So remember we said a drug can have several brand names and every drug has at least three names. So guys, thank you for watching to the end of this video. In the next video in pharmacology, we'll be discussing drug receptors. You don't want to miss out on that. If you have any question, do well to drop it in the comment section. Like, share, leave a comment below. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Thank you very much. Stay tuned till I come your way next time. And until then, stay curious and keep learning.